What is good, Edmund? Finally, my name is Morse Swag Gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be giving some to discuss the topic of regarding Modern Warfare 3. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be coming out in November. And in release date, it's particularly going to be pretty jam packed with so much content. But right now, um, as you guys know, this is pretty interesting because literally, it's going to continue the story of the previous Modern Warfare 3. It took place in Modern Warfare 3, in which we see Captain Price and Stone born after the enemy, you know, Task Force 141, most biggest rivalry enemy right now in Shadow Alpine. That's why they want to just suck him down. Captain Phyllis of the Shadow Puppy apparently see is alive again and like for sorry, 55 seconds, he's alive again. Remember, back then during the, the end of the cutscene of the campaign, we see that Phyllis is basically killed and the tank. Like it just it blows my mind. So now we're looking at Modern Warfare 2, which now we're gonna see a much bigger dangerous enemy. No one other otherwise as um Macrobot. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to stick around and talk about some if you got some days out, maybe confirm that one from about recording the AIs being implanted into Modern Warfare 3, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around, this is baby YouTube Awards for it. Let's get things started. Check them out one, two, let's go. So it comes to my attention that we have been getting numerous, 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 numerous reports of Modern Warfare 3 for the over the last four weeks. People have been talking about what they're gonna bring to the game as you guys know. Sledgehammer's gonna be the vocal studio to basically put this game back on the map. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that does not mean that Call of Duty is gonna be great again. That doesn't mean that these, these, um, these new content that they're seeing is gonna really bring light to the game. First of all, why don't we be, why are we being, you know, put into a situation where now we're gonna, we're gonna have like Modern Warfare 2 maps in the game? Like, did we ask for this? Or did Activision ask for this? Activision's the over, just gonna go over Or, we're we 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 put some more unicorns and colors and pictures and stickers. Like, hey, don't put the fucking fuck at that. Oh, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? We ain't asked for that. We didn't ask for any of the silly nonsense stuff, man. We asked for a perfect, well-made game, just like you would see of X D Defiance. Now, what they got going? They putting AIs in the game. <sighs> Greeting. I am the AI of the Modern Warfare trees. I will be discussing about the um. The possibility of you guys um basically seeing more interaction in this uh the um, modern warfare universe and multiplayer ladies and gentlemen i am in control uh making sure people are not talking very toxic i do not want to see people spreading rumors and craziness over the internet water plan online i do not want people to be used hate and speech i don't weep don't want people to basically get into really, really conversational arguments online. This is the first word game. This is what we want. Okay, okay, you fallen me, you kick me, alright? Buy my game, buy Modern Warfare 3, or I'll cut your internet off. Buy Modern Warfare 3, or I'll cut Black Ops Code with all. Buy Modern Warfare 3, or I destroy the stats. Thank you. AI to remove. Wow. Wow. These are two we gotta get into this article right now, man. We got gift is very concerning. We either will even understand what they were trying to go for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we have an article that is none other than by and Jackson. Um, I will put the link of this Christmas soon to you guys to be me meet up on it right now. The article title is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 will be using AI to clamp down on toxic chats. Or chat, it is. As it is when you use what is called is the mother kit tox mod system to moderate hate speech. Now, 
games have the power to connect people across the world for enjoyment, right? And to the world, right? But, they can also create space that will be used for like, um, <laughs> toxic speech and age, hatred. Now, at the mission end is, is attempted to minimize the latter. Uh, these type of things right now. Well, no, did it use the text size and identify the issue and direct what step moderation to call the authority, right? The modern way AI system is called a task mod, which attempts to identify the chat. I mean, if right, like hate speech, vitiation, and cell phone in real time. It then claims to work in three stages, which is try it, analyze, and escalate. That's right, we're gonna get more into it. So, it says here that Tom's mind listens to all the voice chat, and it even pinpoints which word it farther looks. This flag, the data that is stored in the server, while also the other data will be processed, right, and went to the initial device. Now, the company says that it then evaluates everything from tongue to emotion to analyzing not only what is being said, but also how it is said and how other respond to it. Finally, it attempts to alert the moderator, which is at the region, or in the most toxic incident that leads that then leads it up to them to be to take action. Action region would then find out what's going on here. Then we go over and just, you know, either ban or to go more into where we're gonna go. And then that's pretty much what it'll be done. Trying to protect me as a player, really just screwing over the community in some sort of way. But good flash be uh as far as something right now. Call of Duty's mainly main meant for the trash talking. Talk Call of Duty's mainly meant for those little, little game moments right there, man. You know, like those funny moments in the game where you just get a little funny you know, or argument with stuff, man. We could just go on about the business. Then I'm gonna hurt you with it. What is that to get hurt over? Like, damn, man. Like, like, honestly, what is there to get hurt over a game? Like, like, come, come on, man. If we just have a great day, you know. We can be a little trash talking here and there. That's just way call it a great back in the day, man. And I think. This error right now, man, it, it's just, it's too soft, it's too, it, it, it's, it's just too much that goes on in the game. Nowadays, man, I look at a Call of Duty game, and I'm like, yo, man, I'm just turning on this, you know, I'm playing multiplayer, I'm doing my thing, I'm grinding for the battle fantasy side, I'm not grinding for the snipers, uh, shotgun, get them all my weapon go and platinum, and camouflage, I'm trying to get the, 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 the new camouflage that he got, the, the new secret one they got going on here, but, you know, and, and it's what it is with Call of Duty. I don't necessarily think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a bad game. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be one of those games for me to be to remember because it's going to be part of the trilogy. It's going to be part of the, uh, the Modern Warfare campaign trilogy I'm talking about now, right here. And they've been talking about adding new stuff like maybe some new Wild War maps and stuff, new, new stuff to add to the game. I'm really looking forward to see exactly what they can do on their side. Just to say, Shaver, by the way, they're adding War Bowl back to the game. They're adding not just War Bowl, they're going to be adding. Crown War maps, War Mode maps. Ladies and gentlemen, just, just take a second to sit back and just process everything, man. You're beginning zombie, you're getting War Mode, you're getting, you're, you're getting DMC, you're being all this stuff to be packed into the game. Just, just take a moment and just think for a second. Later.